best and worst oils for your health. When it comes to your health, fat is not necessarily a dirty word. You need some fat in your diet, and it actually performs some pretty impressive tasks like boosting energy, supporting cell growth, protecting your organs, keeping your body warm, and aiding in nutrient absorption and the manufacturing of hormones. According to the American Heart Association AHA, and oils can be a great source of these healthy fats, but choosing the right variety is key. Learn which oils to add to your diet for a health boost, and which you should leave on the shelf. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Oils with Health Benefits Olive Oil Olive oil is my favorite, says Sarah Haas, Road, LDN, a chef in Chicago and spokeswoman for the American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Made from ripe olives, olive oil is a basic ingredient of the heart-healthy Mediterranean diet. And is best for drizzling on salads, pasta, and bread. It's okay to use the oil for a quick sauté or for baking. But it has a low smoke point the temperature at which the oil begins to break down and starts to smoke. So it's not good for deep frying. Says Beth Warren, M.S., Road, a nutritionist in private practice in New York City and author of Living a Real Life with Real Food. Canola Oil Canola oil is low in saturated fat, Haas says. Unhealthy saturated fat is solid at room temperature and comes mostly from animal products like meat and dairy. In 2006, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, decided that manufacturers could claim that one and a half tablespoons of canola oil a day may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease when used instead of saturated fat. Canola oil has a higher smoke point than olive oil and can be used safely for cooking at high temperatures. It doesn't have as much flavor as some other vegetable and seed oils, though. So you may not want to use it in recipes like salad dressings where you want the oil to add some flavor, Warren says. Flax seed oil Flax seed oil is a good source of alpha-linoleic acid, ALA, one of three omega-3 fatty acids, olive and canola oils also contain omega-3s. You need dietary omega-3s since your body cannot make them on its own. Omega-3 fatty acids reduce inflammation, and thus may help lower the risk of cancer, according to the MD Anderson Cancer Center. Flax seed oil may also help reduce symptoms of arthritis. But avoid it if you're on a blood thinner since flax seed oil may increase bleeding, advises the Arthritis Foundation. Flax seed oil should not be heated, so it's best to use in cold dishes like smoothies or salads, Warren says. Avocado oil. Avocado oil is high in monounsaturated fatty acids and can promote healthy cholesterol levels. And enhance absorption of some nutrients, according to a review of avocado benefits. Published in the May 2013 Critical Reviews in Food Science and Nutrition. Avocado oil also has a high smoke point and is therefore one of the best oils for high temperature cooking. It can be used for stir-frying, sautéing, or searing, Haas says. Walnut oil. While expensive, walnut oil contains heart-healthy omega-3s in addition to other nutrients, Haas says. Walnut oil is ideal for desserts and other recipes that benefit from a nutty flavor, adds Warren. Sesame oil. A staple in Asian and Indian cooking, sesame oil makes the AHA's list of heart-healthy cooking oils. Use light sesame oil for stir-frying, and dark sesame oil when making dressings or sauces. Grape seed oil. Grape seed oil is low in saturated fat and has a high smoke point which makes it a healthy choice for all kinds of cooking and grilling, says Warren. Its nutty but mild flavor also works well in salad dressings, or drizzled over roasted veggies. Oils to use with caution. Coconut oil. This oil is a controversial one. A solid at room temperature, coconut oil is a saturated fat, but not all saturated fats are created equal. This isn't the same as the saturated fat found in red meat that clogs your arteries, says Warren. Coconut oil has a high amount of medium-chain fatty acids, which are harder for the body to convert into stored fat, she adds. However, the AHA advises those with high cholesterol to avoid coconut oil. 
It would be difficult to get your LDL cholesterol into healthy ranges eating a lot of coconut oil. Agrees Kimberly Gomer, MS, Road, Director of Nutrition at the Pritikin Longevity Center in Miami. Palm oil. Palm oil is also high in saturated fat. Because they're at risk for heart disease. People with diabetes should pay close attention to their saturated fat consumption and avoid sources of the fat like palm oil. According to the American Diabetes Association, oils labeled as partially hydrogenated. Most partially hydrogenated oils are made from vegetable oils like soybean or cottonseed. According to the Center for Science in the Public Interest, partially hydrogenated oils are trans fats, fats that the FDA claims have been shown to increase your risk for heart disease. Recently, the FDA ruled that manufacturers must remove all trans fats from their products by 2018. You should remove partially hydrogenated oils from your diet, too, Warren says.